Chief Minister Manohar Parikar, who is also the Education Minister, modified the education loan policy which is available to Goan students. He informed that nearly 3,338 students have taken advantage of the education loan policy so far ever since it was introduced in 2002 by the earlier BJP government. Around Rs 38.54 crore till now has been disbursed and Rs 17.99 crore repaid by the students. Definition of entitled fees has been changed, so is the repayment period. Entitled fees are 1 lakh rupees per year. There is an income of 1 lakh rupees. Exemption due by the government. I mean, 7 lakh income, Bhav Kiwat Bhain College in higher education cha college in asa, there are 8 lakh. And if you go to the course, you have to pay the entitled fee 1 lakh rupees per year. There are 1 lakh. I mean, 7 and 9 lakh income. For foreign student, it is 12 lakh, 14 lakh, plus 1 lakh. The repayment has been changed extensively. And it now depends on the total loan rather than the number of year of course. To five lakhs of fees, total fees, no guarantor. All documents will be taken at one time and they will be valid to the extent of loan. With their clauses today. NIT with exclusive 50% of the seats for Goans would be implemented from 2013, informed Mr. Parikar. National Institute of Technology Goa started functioning from its temporary campus located in Goa Engineering College from 2010 to 11. As per the norms, 50% uh, of these home state seats for Goa are reserved for state of Goa, Dadra Nagar Valley, Diu Daman Lakshadip. However, it is decided that from the academic year 2012-13 onward, 50% of the home state seats are exclusively reserved for the state of Goa. He also declared one time rupees 5000 bonus to all the retired government servants as part of the Golden Jubilee celebration of the state. The Home Minister also informed that Daboli outpost has been upgraded as a full-fledged police station. The Chief Minister also abolished the 5% tax on fabrics, giving relief to the textile merchants.